his promise. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word of God. It shows us so many things that the Lord has in store for us. The promises of God. The word of God. The things that God has in stock for us, both here on earth and in heaven. Hold on to God's promise for you. It may not look like you are there yet, but hold on. His word never fails. He caught a covenant with Abraham. Same with Jacob. Everything was sorted. His part of the deal, the agreement was done. The promises of God, they are sure that come to pass. What has he said to you? What has been revealed to you? It is coming to pass. No matter how long, hold on to it. He's a faithful God. What are you going through that makes you feel, I don't really want to continue. Wants you to either backslide or give up. Don't. You are a child of God. He's not an absentee father. Father, He's not an absentee parent in any way. He will take care of you. He's there for you. Not an absentee father, as I said. He loves you with an everlasting love. You may be going through some stuff that you don't like, but hold on to His promise, His truth. They are already happening in your life. You might not have seen the manifestation. The Bible says, hold on to Jesus, the author and finisher. He held to God's promise. We saw the life Jesus lived. He did the will of the Father. He held on to the word of God. That He says that He will provide. He will supply. Even when the devil came and said, turn this stone to bread. He used the word. He knows that God is all he requires. Same for Elijah. We have that example. He did not base his supply on that uh, bird that was giving him food, neither on the brook where he was drinking from. Hallelujah. He didn't see the raven supplying him food as his source. He saw God as his source. His promise to cater for him. And was it filled? It wasn't filled. We saw that how God took him to the widow of, uh, to, to, to the widow who took care of him. Hallelujah. The widow of Zaravet. So hold on to God's promise. He will never fail. He will never forsake you. He loves you. God bless and remain so.